Today we are talking about living in the end. And this is one of the most misunderstood principles of manifestation. And we are going to talk about this according to scripture and Neville. But before we get into it, hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Elle. Welcome to my channel. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. You know, often I hear people saying, I have imagined, I have done everything that I had to do. And now I keep getting the thoughts, the negative thoughts, I keep still have doubts, I still have fears, and so on, so on, and so on. Um, what I wanted to understand is that if you have imagined something, but you have not worked on yourself, your beliefs, then it's going to be extremely difficult for you to manifest what you want. And it's going to be even more difficult if you manifested it to keep it, okay? Because... Your beliefs are there to keep the 3D the way that it is, in a way that makes sense to who you are and not to who you want to be, okay? To who you are, to the person who chooses to believe I am unlovable or people cheat on me or people leave me or um, I am poor, I will never achieve abundance, I cannot keep money, you know, all of this. All of these things are maintaining the 3D 24-7 so that it makes sense to you, you know, the version of you who you currently are. So to get to your manifestation and experience a different reality, you have to work on those beliefs so that they are not creating the 3D or pushing out the 3D the way that you don't want to have. If your thoughts haven't changed, it's not because the manifestation is unworking and you shouldn't be uh, stressing out about your imagination and what you want. You should realize, well, I want a change, but I haven't changed. That's basically what it means. So the question we have in this video is, when it comes to living the end, when are you required to live in the end to manifest your desire? Every time, okay? And if you take a look at scripture, and let's go and take a look at Mark eleven twenty four. it says, Therefore I say unto you, when things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Okay, and in a lesson, um, living the end, from I think 68, Neville said, if I know what I want when I pray, believe that I have received it and I will. The same thing. Living in the end, when it's important to live in the end, when you are using your imagination, when you are going through your scenes, when you are doing your affirmations, when you are having your inner dialogue. Living in the end is basically being present in that reality. So you're thinking from that reality while visualizing. You are experiencing that reality. That's what makes it real, right? The experience that you are having. The crucial moment to live in the end is that everything that comes after it, it's going to reflect your state of consciousness. So if you work on your beliefs, if you work on your uh, assumptions, on everything within you that is creating, pushing out this 3D that is there right now, you're going to see how your thoughts change and conform to the different reality that the different version of you is living. If you're experiencing more doubts and fears and stuff, then it's not because of your imaginal act. If you were present in your imaginal act, and you had the sense, it's done. I felt the fabric of reality in that imaginal act. Then it's done, it's done. Everything that comes after it, in your thoughts, your mind, your fears, your doubts, is just reflecting in which state of consciousness you are in. So what typically happens in my experience is whenever I figure out what kind of beliefs are this, that are standing in my way and I create different statements and then I visualize a couple of scenes talking about how um, my desired reality is true. What happens is not instantly I feel different, 
But things happen in my life and brings me to become the person that I want to be. And when I go into my imaginal act to change a certain thing in my 3D, then I see that my negative thinking, my doubts, my fears, they subside. They are not as present. I'm going to have thoughts here and there, but then what is important for me is that they become less and less and less. And I, as a conscious being, I decided to not entertain them. So that's why I already told you guys, I always have like three or five affirmations with me that whenever my thought goes to whatever I'm manifesting, I say those affirmations. I say them as a reminder that I have already experienced. I have experienced that reality. That reality I carry with me every day, every moment, even though I may not be feeling it every day, I may not be seeing it every day, but whenever I say those affirmations, I get transported to the same feelings that I felt before. Is it necessary? Is it required? No, it's not required. What is said is, think from that end and you shall receive it. That's it. The other thing that you have to do is to make sure that your belief system sustain that reality that you want to experience. And that is also when you feel that it's done. If you were present in a scene and it feels now like a memory, because you have experienced this, it's done. Living in the end is not pretending that you are what you are not in the 3D. It's not telling people about your relationship that you don't have. It is not um, pretending that you are married. It's not uh, pretending that you're rich. This is acting as if, but it's not living in the end. This is something for all of us to think about. Our source of freedom are rarely our desire. Our source of freedom are in our beliefs, okay? Are in our self-concept, in our state of consciousness. The desire is just showing you there is something that you should be working on. Because when you work on it, you are going to get it. This is my interpretation, okay? So whenever you the desire comes up and you figure out, I want to make fast that into my reality, don't doubt, you can manifest whatever you want, nothing is impossible. But then, before you start obsessing about a person, about a job, about money, whatever, go within, ask yourself, what's going on in my 3D in that area of my life? How am I reacting to what is happening? How are people reacting to me in that area of my life? And then create statements, that means the opposite. And then create an imaginal act. You can affirm, you can visualize, you can script, you can have inner dialogues that, that mean that you are a different person, okay? So you could be like um, telling your friend, for example, oh my God, everyone I want loves me, falls in love with me. And they say, oh, I have noticed that. How do you do that? And then you can say, yeah, I'm just, it's just who I am. I'm magnetic. Use your imagination to bring forth that version of you that you want, that you desire to be. Okay. And after doing that, then you, go, you can go for your desire. Okay. Just figure out what is there within you that is not allowing that reality to manifest. Because if there wasn't anything there, it would be natural to your state of consciousness. And don't ever think that someone or something can stop you from manifesting what you want. Ever. As Neville said, choose the lovely things, but don't say there is another creator. For if there is another creator, then we are in conflict. So there is nothing outside of you that can stop you from achieving something. The only thing who can stand in your way is yourself. And it is through not wanting to change, not wanting to take a look, analyze your belief system, making it possible to yourself. Go for the symptom. I want to treat the symptom. You can treat the symptom as much as you want, okay? If you don't go to the cause, of the sickness, 
you are still going to be sick. You have to go to the things that are creating, that are pushing out that reality. So next time when a desire comes up, remember this. When you pray, pray is another word for imagining. When you imagine, live from the end. Think from that end. It shall be impressed onto your subconscious mind and pushed out as an experience in the 3D. That's the secret. That is probably much easier than what you have been doing until now, okay? That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We're going to talk soon. Bye, guys.